Okay, so here we are in Act 4, the final act of Diablo 2 pre-Lord of Destruction expansion set. Uh, this is the act where you actually fight Diablo himself. There are only three quests in the quest log, but it's actually just as long as any of the other acts, mainly because it takes quite a bit to uh, summon Diablo, which is strange. You would think that he'd be just waiting there to kill you, considering the cutscene that plays before the act, you know. Anyways, uh, let's go talk to the NPCs to get the quest. Good to see you. The time has come for you to destroy Mephisto's soul stone. Take the stone to the Hellforge, place it upon the forge, and strike it soundly with the hammer. Only by doing this can you prevent Mephisto from manifesting in this world ever again. It is good to see you again, hero. Mephisto's defeat is a great victory for the Light. I knew that you would eventually find your way here. The Pandemonium Fortress is the last bastion of Heaven's power before the gates of the Burning Hells. This place has been hallowed by the blood of thousands of champions of the Light, many of whom were mortal like yourself. Now, the final battle against the Prime Evil is draws near. You must face it alone. I have been forbidden to aid you directly, save for a few bits of wisdom. For this is the hour of mortal man's triumph. Your triumph. May the light protect you and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. There is a dark, tortured soul who was trapped within this forsaken realm long ago. He was called Iswal by mortal men, and in ages past, he was my most trusted lieutenant. Yet against my wishes, he led an ill-fated assault upon the fiery Hellforge itself. Despite his valor and strength, Iswal was captured by the prime evils and twisted by their perverse powers. They forced him to betray his own kind and give up Heaven's most guarded secrets. He became a corrupt shadow of his former self. A fallen angel, trusted neither by heaven nor hell. For his transgressions, Iswal's spirit was bound within the form of a terrible creature, which was summoned from the abyss. His maddened spirit has resided within that tortured husk for many ages now. It seems to me that he has suffered long enough. I implore you, hero, find Iswal and release him from his cruel imprisonment. Put an end to his guilt and suffering. Okay, so again, this is a pretty straightforward quest. All you gotta do is make your way through uh, one zone into a second and uh, kill a guy. He's not that tough. So, uh, like the last video, I will show some gameplay. What do you need? What do you need?
Okay, let's skip ahead a little bit to the zone where our quest enemy is. His name is Izuin, and uh, he's located in the Plains of Despair. Sounds like a cheery place, huh? You just want to have like a picnic there or something. So fight your way through the Plains of Despair just like you've been fighting your way through the whole game. And eventually you'll find him. He's not too difficult, but uh, once you kill him, he does a kind of cool thing where like his angel soul pops out, so that's kind of cool. And uh, talk to his ass and then yeah, continue from there. told Diablo and his brothers about the Soul Stones and how to corrupt them. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave of blood and nightmares. You and all of your kind are doomed. So it turns out that he wasn't tortured into betraying heaven, he was just a douchebag from the start. So now you want to go and talk to Tyrael and let him know. Thank you, hero, for putting Israel's tortured spirit to rest. May the light protect you and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. But if what you tell me is true, then I fear that we have been played for fools all along. Iswal helped Diablo and his brothers trick me into using the Soul Stones against them. Now the Stone's powers are corrupted. With the combined powers of the Soul Stones under their control, the Prime Evils will be able to turn the mortal world into a permanent outpost of hell. Okay, that's all there is for Act uh, 4, Quest 1. Until next time.